Here's what's on my mind today. Local athletes are speaking out about the wrongful death of George Floyd, but some of them, it's been a challenge. Redskins quarterback Dwayne Haskins tweeted, I have a lot to say, but I learned a while ago, you don't run social media to speak your mind. Be a difference maker in real life, not Twitter. Now Rams cornerback Jalen Ramsey, who's one of the 15 players to take a knee during the national anthem in 2017 to protest against police brutality and racial oppression, had this to say in part to Haskins. This ain't it. If you have the platform and can use it for good, you do that. Now I reached out to speak to a few athletes today about the killing of George Floyd and the protest, and I'm not gonna mention any names, but the response was unfortunately the same. Some of the athletes feel like if they put out a message or speak about the issues, it's just never good enough or they're attacked for speaking out. It was described as a checkbox. Did they mention racism? Did they mention police brutality? Did they express how they will help make a change? Did they use George Floyd's name or Black Lives Matter? If one box wasn't checked off, then they were attacked. Capitals goalie Braden Hopi had a strong message about the killing of George Floyd, ending his message with, America would never be great until all Black Lives Matter. However, someone replied using the N-word. Twitter would later suspend that post. How about Jeff? He says, just stop the puck. Very similar to the shut up and dribble message to NBA players who spoke out about social injustice. Even Alex Ovechkin received negative responses. Ovi posted, rest in peace, George Floyd. So sad to see what's happening everywhere and DC. It is so important for us to respect and love each other no matter what we look like. We need to listen and do change. Please stay safe and take care of each other. Ovi received plenty of positive responses, but there are also multiple negative ones as well. Kevin Capenda replied with, you play in a city that is majority black. Donate and help the people of DC. Well, Kevin, he does. Ovi donated more than 4,500 tickets to underserved kids, not to mention he went down to Fort DuPont to visit those kids, even with the Stanley Cup. And look at this picture. It's majority black, just like the city. So if you're a supporter of the protest, don't scrutinize these athletes. Some people want to help out. They may just not know exactly how to do so but be thankful that they at least tried. I'm Darren Haynes and that is on my mind.